Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is vlog number two, I think, here, because as you can see, I haven't moved anywhere. I guess I just decided just to ride out whatever bug happened. Uh, it's only six months, so and there's only a few restrictions that I have to worry about, so as far as that's concerned, I should be okay. I'm going to have to be a little careful around doing things like uh, longer videos or external annotations, not that I really put up many annotations anyway. Um, so other than that, things are relatively back to normal. I submitted a bunch of bug reports and all. I basically did everything in the book that YouTube has to offer. They don't want to offer actual person-to-person -person customer service or customer support. So you have a bunch of just forms you fill out. Um, I got some vague, like, vague advice off of a form somewhere about a button that's in your creator studio that's uh, essentially for feedback, but there's an ish, there's kind of a thing where if you uh, click it and I guess there's a slight chance they might get back to it. Um, some people say that it might take weeks for them to actually fix a problem and they might not even respond to you while, while they're doing it. So uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit on the channel here for the six months and then maybe it'll get fixed somewhere between now and then. Uh, but for the time being, I just have to worry about things like the six months or the restrictions on the channel, which aren't that bad, thankfully. Uh, they kind of jump from little things up to the second strike, which is big things, like you get kicked out of your channel completely for like two weeks. Um, thankfully, I got that one revoked, so I don't have to worry about it. Um, this was a little video I was going to do uh, later on, but with that whole thing going on with the strikes and whatnot, I wasn't able to really do it super well. Um, that would be the Loot Crate unboxing. As you can see, I have a Loot Crate here. This is the December Anniversary Edition. Uh, supposedly, it's supposed to have a lot more value in it, but I guess that might have been a special thing or something. I don't know. This one just seems to have just the basic amount that I have ever seen out of a Loot Crate before. Uh, so I was going to do an unboxing of this. I was going to do it, make, make it way flashier and all that good stuff, which is what I'm going to do with the January. But for the December, the first ever loot crate, it's just going to be a little video on this. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Personally, this is my first ever loot crate, and uh, I actually did some touching up on the box. It came in, like, this is how it arrived in the mail. It didn't come in a separate box that I lifted out, and then you have another box inside of it. It just, they slapped the tag in the back of it, which I have removed carefully and with much dexterity. Uh, I had little scuffs on the box, you might be able to see with the lighting right there, that there's kind of uh, some indents, which I have covered up the lacerations on the box with permanent marker, so it looks all nice and pretty for the camera. So let's go ahead and get into it. As I said, um, they were supposed to be themed, I think, uh, but apparently like it's only certain locates or it's a newer thing. But uh, they do have an internal kind of design to them, which I will get at in a second. That's going to be the last thing I show. As you can see, there's actually a little thing on the outside there. Um, this has been bothering me a lot because it is, what, January 5th? Yeah, it's January 5th right now, and I got this on, like, December 20th or something. So I, there's all this cool stuff I wanted to, I wanted, you know, take out and look at, but I couldn't because I want to do the video, so... You're welcome. I've been having this on my desk and I've just been looking at it. So, as for, for the first item, this is a Loot Crate exclusive pop figure. I believe they're a vinyl figure. And this one appears to be of a Joker Batman. And, uh, if I remember correctly... Yep, this is in fact just exclusive to the Loot Crate. So, that's, uh, yeah, that's the first thing. I forget how much these cost, but I didn't like look over the thing, the costs of the things in here, and they are over forty dollars, and they do say that the value is over forty dollars. So who knows? This might be like fifteen bucks plus like collector value or something, which I can't imagine is too high. Uh, second off, you have some little Groot socks from the Guardians of the Galaxy. Looks like you have "I Am Groot" written on the other side as well as the Marvel logo. So this is a fun little thing. I don't know if I'll ever wear them, but they're cool. Kind of soft. They're actually not pretty nice. Maybe like uh, like sleeping socks, if you ever do that. I don't know, I sometimes just like my feet to be warm in the winter. Um, second off, or third off, this is the third item, which is a Mighty Wallet. I actually took this out and looked at it a little bit and carefully fit it back into its plastic protective container. 
Um, this one particularly has The Simpsons on it. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it essentially has the entire cast of what I assume is... Yeah, I think that's the entire cast. They might be missing some people. There's people, like, inside of it and all that good stuff, so... In... Yeah, they got the three-eyed fish, and there's actually a lot of people I haven't seen in here before. But, uh, yeah, that's nice. You got also these little things inside of it, which appear to be 10% off little coupon deals. Which, uh, I guess it just says to use the code LOOTER. I guess that's just for anybody. I mean, there is a lot of them in here, so I guess it's just for people to hand out to their friends and all that. So yeah, I guess it's, uh, if you use the word looter on their website, you get 10% off. And, uh, these are fully customizable. They're very strong. These do not rip, even though they, I think they're made of some kind of paper. Uh, some kind of recycled material. But they are extremely strong, and I'm probably going to be using this. I've been waiting to do this unboxing, particularly so I can use this one, because my old wallet is, like, falling apart. Um, what else we got here? As our next item, we have a little button. A little button that says the loot crate, and then the... The edition, I believe, December 2014 anniversary at the bottom of the box there. If the camera will focus, I don't think it will, but that's what it says. It's a little gold or some kind of a... Yeah, it's like a gold kind of kind of coloring. Next up, we have a Avengers or... Yeah, Avengers Assemble Captain America themed vanilla car air freshener. Which, I might use it. I don't know. I've never been big on like the air fresheners hanging out my window. Uh, my car is very blank, which is uh, just how I like to roll, I guess. Next up is a sticker set of Tetris pieces. I think, how many pages are in here of this stuff? There's a good many. 147 of them, the individual stickers. I think there's like four sheets in here. I'm just going to assume that. But yeah, that's a lot of little pieces in which you can put on your phone, on your books, on your bags. I guess they stick to bags well. Uh, backpacks, laptops, things like that. Little decals for us to use. I don't know how flexible they are. They seem to be made out of some kind of plastic. But there you go. You got Tetris stickers. Next up is the... Was that just a manual or something? Oh, I guess this is just a, a little thing talking about the crate and its contents and other things about crates. You got a little section on Stan Lee in there. Got some nice stuff. I won't go too far into that because I'm sure that's uh, that's a thing. Um, it looks like Crunchyroll something. 30 day free trial. So yeah, if you wanna if you wanna look at uh, into Crunchyroll here, I guess that's a thing. Uh, personally, I've never been a big guy on the animes. There's a few I like just because they had good stories, but I don't really uh, binge watch a lot of animes. Uh, next up we have a door thingy. Door do not disturb hanger that is uh, themed off of the Ghostbusters. So warning, ghost busted in progress, and come on in you ugly little spud on the other side. Uh, currently I have something on my door, I forget what, I never use it, but it's just hanging there. I think it's a Gamer Republic or something. And next up, we have a Batman comic! Which I'm probably not going to open, I don't know, I never really read comics. I actually have some friends that are into these comics, so I might see if they want it. But, uh, yeah, it looks cool. Um, you got Batman getting punched in the face by what looks like some kind of a prank gun. It has the Joker on it, so it's obviously the Joker is doing um, something that involves punching Batman in the face. And last but not least, the ultimate treasure of the Christmas crate. Candy can. Here's a little candy can. How thoughtful of those guys. Okay, I haven't even eaten that candy can yet for my Christmas. But yes, yeah, so that is the contents of the crate. Now we can get to the crate itself. How am I doing on time? I'm fine on time. I don't have a lot left, because I think it's like 15 minutes is a restriction for videos. I don't know. I've been able to upload ones that were like 20, so I don't know if it's just... That's also a glitch, where I can just upload videos anyway. Um, well, let's see here. It has some doodads that I'm supposed to be doing. I think it's... You fold it like this. Fold these under here. Put that up. I think this pops out. Yeah, there we go, something's happening. 
Uh, oh, there's like a little slot here. And push this in here. Is that, is that how that works? Or no? Maybe? I don't know what this is supposed to be doing. I'm just going to assume that's how that's supposed to work. But anyway, yeah, it's like a... It's supposed to be a bat cave, is what I'm assuming. And so you got, like, your little stage, and there's the the bars holding it up to support beans with bat size, little bat eyes. You got some computers on either side, including a fold-out keyboard station, which I don't know if anything's supposed to be over here, but uh, I'm going to assume there is not supposed to be. And other than that, you have like little tanks for varying bat suits and whatnot in there, little lizard guy. And what's that? Looks like a weapon rack on the other end there. And supposedly what is supposed to happen from their images is you take your guy out of the box, which I will not be doing because why well, take something out of the box, it makes no sense. Put it right there. Eh. And you got your little guy. Well, you got the idea. So. That is the December 2014th Anniversary Edition Loot Crate box. Oh, that's what those are. They're not like actual damage things on the front. They're actually just little punch-out doodads. I guess I got some stuff on here, though. Hmm. So I will definitely be putting some of this to use, giving away other pieces to friends and family if they desire. Oop. Oh, my candy came back up there. And yeah, so thank you for watching this. Um, is there anything else I wanted to get at? I don't think so. There's a whole jetpack deal that I'm still trying to get into. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get into jetpack. I'm going to try. Hopefully they'll understand it's kind of a back and forth with people kind of thing. It's not just a pushy button and the computer designates whether or not you can actually join. So hopefully they'll be understanding and I can join up with loot or jetpack. And uh, so that's a whole thing. Um, if you want to go to Loot Crate, if you have never heard of Loot Crate before, I'll try to put the link down in the description. I'm not supposed to have, like, external links, but it also still works. So, I don't know what's up with that. So, if you want to go, check that out. There's probably some codes or something where you can get your first month off. It is relatively cheap. I believe for most people, it's kind of relative to shipping or your location and whatnot. But it's usually less than 20 bucks for your first month if you can find a code, and around $20. Um, just for repetitive monthly billing. I think they they have a, a thing where you can like put more subscriptions down, like WoW or something for cheaper. But for the most part, that's what's going on there. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. If you like this video and you want to see other stuff I've done, I'll be doing the Loot Crate January edition with a little bit more flair and pizzazz. Hopefully uh, do something cool with like effects and whatnot. But uh, for the time being, this is what we got. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and you want to see other stuff I've done, go ahead and leave a comment, subscribe, do whatever you want, and uh, I'll catch you in the next part. Have a good one.